The University of St Andrews is shortly to celebrate its 600th anniversary. It's been around since 1413, very much a traditional university providing uh, world-class research and teaching for around about 8,000 students. Being an old uh, university, one of, the, one of the ancients and a research-intensive university, it doesn't mean to say we won't use modern age or, or leading-edge uh, technology to enhance our business. Like any business these days, information technology underpins all aspects of our business. Having a data centre really, to me, is the foundation part of providing 24 by 7 uh, services for a local uh, UK university that's got global reach. As we're increasingly uh, recruiting students from all over the world, uh, they're expecting to be able to access our uh, systems at all hours of the day and night having something that we can rely on to uh, provide uh, these critical services. It's very important for the university that we're able to do this. Developing a data centre in a conservation area within St Andrews was, was a particular challenge, not only for Future Tech, but for the university in terms of, uh, of you know, requirements under the planning legislation. Prior to the construction of the data centre, we had equipment located in around about 40 locations on the campus, taking up quite valuable real estate. We're looking to consolidate all that equipment. Also, there was the drive to become more energy efficient, and also to become more carbon neutral, which is one of our strategic aspirations. And the, the data centre played a real part in that, in terms of driving down our energy consumption for, for IT. We selected uh, Future Tech on the basis of not only their competitive uh, response from an economic point of view, but also the fact they provided a complete solution, everyone from the design, the build and the construction elements. They played a key part in identifying some of the issues that the builder had to take into account. So they contributed to the design process of the structure as well as the fit-out. In the data centre, Future Tech designs um, a hot aisle, cold aisle system, which was a very efficient way of corralling the heat from the computer units, and have also put free cooling on the system and very high efficiency UPS systems. The solution is very innovative in that it places a whole series of very simple things together which all together mean that the PUE of the data centre is at 1.2. So it's by careful attention to all the individual details that you've ended up with such a, a good energy efficient data centre. We've also built in a heat exchanger into the system that will enable us in the future to heat some of our adjacent buildings from the waste heat from the data centre. The future of the data centre is that we're going to continue to uh, tighten up the environmental controls to gain us extra efficiency, though we already have a payback period of somewhere around seven years on the investment. It's also going to save us somewhere around 7,000 tonnes of carbon emissions in the next 10 years. Future Tech's attitude was very proactive from the very beginning, and I think they welcomed having a client that was actually pushing them from the very start to say what we want to see here is something special. I think one of the key aspects of the Future uh, Tech relationship has been the fact that we've got uh, access to all aspects and all parts of the company. We've got access from everyone, from the engineers right through to the, to the managing director. I think that's been really the key part of the partnership, rather than a traditional uh, customer-supplier relationship. We have received a lot of interest from around the country and different universities and other uh, data centres have come forward and said we're actually very keen to look at it and learn from our experience.